Hello, I'm going to show you how to make um, some leaves for these flowers. Now this is a puffy flower and this is the silicone mold I used. Um, this is, I believe this is a daisy and this is the silicone I used to make the flowers and I'm going to show you how to make the leaves. Um, for the puffy flower we need a little bit more paste than your regular one and what you do, I'm using gum paste. Um, you want to roll a teardrop shape and I'm going to make these a little bit bigger so you can see them better on the video. And what you want to do is just press down lightly and make a line in the middle. And then you want to make your veins with the same tool just pressing down on the sides. And you see how it's thicker and it, and it goes well with the flower. You want to pinch the end here just to give it more of a, uh, a petal shape. And let me make an another one for you. This one's going to be smaller. Again, a teardrop shape. Press down lightly. And then you just want to make the little veins on the sides. We press down, and there you have two, two puffy leaves. Once you have your flowers ready, then you can just arrange them. And these look cute on cupcakes, cakes, um, just whatever decoration you want to use them on. I used them on a little baby hippo I made, um, and I put them all around the little baby hippo, and they looked really cute. So that's a quick, quick easy way to make the leaves for the flowers. Now I'm going to show you the flatter leaves, let me just scoot this over, for the daisy flowers. And it's the same thing, this time you're just going to get a little bit less paste and you're going to make a teardrop shape and you want to press down. And it's the same thing, we're going to make a line in the middle just pressing lightly, we're going to make the veins. We're going to pinch the, the edges here. And there we have one. Oh, let me make a smaller one. I'm going to press down. you can make them longer or smaller that's just your preference how you like the flower the little leaves and here I have some already pre-made and, and they're really really cute flowers you can find these silicone molds on on the website and if you have any questions or anything um, just email me or give me a call and that's a quick way to make the, uh, the little leaves for these flowers.